Kelsey Conway here with Xavier head coach Meg Decker. This game, what did you feel like the final outcome came down to? Putting our shots away. I mean, if you look down, we, we won in every single stat category, even, um, except we had, we're even on shots. They had 39, we had 34. Um, their goalies did a heck of a job, but our shot, we, we didn't put away our shots. Um, we beat them on draw controls, beat them on ground paws, um, beat them in clear percentage. Like we just needed to put our shots away today. And that's typically a strength of ours. Um, we have players who are top 95% in the country on shooting percentage. So just today, that wasn't where we landed, and that's okay. And that really stood out to me the whole game. I said the score isn't necessarily indicative of how Xavier played, and you just pointed out to the stats. I mean, for the most part, teams don't typically win games when they lose the draw controls, but you guys won the draw control stat, and as you mentioned, the ground balls, it really just came down to Villanova was able to put their shots away, and like you said, you guys weren't. When you have a game like this, you do you not look at the final score? What are you taking from this game as you guys move forward to get ready for your final game of the season? Yeah, today our goal um, was to set a new floor. I think our play in against Denver, we really elevated where we, what we could do, and then we took that into this game. Um, the biggest takeaways that I can see we need to put a body on the shooter on defense. We didn't. We did that in the last quarter, but up to that point, people were shooting with no pressure on their hands, and that can't happen. So that's something we need to kind of change going into playing UConn. And then um, they threw a lot of different goalies at us, and just we're used to quick shots putting the ball away. Um, but we need to we need to shoot for the pipes going into UConn. But I think that our um, every single player who was out there got better today, especially our draw crew. They needed it. They, the pressure was on them. I said, Kira, I'm betting on you, and she did a heck of a job. Yeah, she was super impressive on the circle. And before we let you go, I just want to give you the chance, obviously, your first senior day coaching here. Um, Riley Halloran was able to get a couple goals. You could tell the team was super fired up for her. You know, what would you like to say about the seniors that really meant a lot to your first year as a program celebrating your first senior day here? Gosh, how long do you have? <laughs> um, the two of them have just been incredible. And I, it's not just... It's, it's, it's everything that they're doing. They showed up to learn and to lead, and that's a hard thing to do because when you're learning, you make mistakes, and you there's a certain vulnerability to learning, right? And they committed to not just learning but leading while they were doing it, so being showing that when they make mistakes and showing what it looks like to how to handle mistakes, and that is what we asked from, that growth mindset and buying into, like, they were they came here for the people underneath of them. They didn't come here for themselves. They came here to do something bigger than themselves and to serve. Uh, and the first the first day I asked them, I said, hey, um, a big part of servant leadership is serving. Are you up for the challenge? And they were like, yeah, of course. We're, we got you, coach. What do you need? And I said, I need you to do the laundry. And both of them said, the laundry? I said, yep, do the laundry. <laughs> and they're like, okay, I got it. And what ended up happening is as they were serving the players, the players around them were like, why are they doing all, all the serving? And they stepped in, and the younger players started a system that they were all taking turns, every single person on the team. And that's what Xavier's all about. It's not about the people on the bottom serving the people at the top. It's the people at the top taking care of and serving the people on the bottom who are just coming in and showing them the ropes. And um, Riley and Hannah have done that times a million, and I'm, I'm so grateful. I cannot watch wait to watch them take their next step in life. Well, we'll let you go celebrate with them. Good luck in your final game of the season. Thank you so much.